Hello everybody, this is Marty. We're gonna do something different uh, with this new video. We're gonna play actually a different game. We're gonna play F1 2018. Uh, as you guys have seen, uh, I've bought the game and uh, curious to find out, out if it can, uh, can live up to the hype. Well, first of all, I'm gonna do some racing career mode. And the obvious question is which uh, which team I'm, I'm gonna choose for the career mode, and uh, we can choose for the for the obvious choices like Ferrari or Mercedes or Red Bull or whatever uh, premium team. Uh, but I figured I wanted to do something else, so I either can choose for Toro Rosso, Sauber, or Williams. And uh, well, just to be fair, I have decided to pick the Sauber F1 team. Uh, reason for that is I really like the livery and it's just a beautiful car and uh, yeah uh, basically we can make some improvements uh, with that as well uh, I do understand uh, we have to start from the bottom it's basically the worst team uh, possible uh, except for Williams obviously because that is the worst team uh, but we do uh, need some improvement on the car to be uh, to be competitive this season uh, next question, uh, the teammate well obviously it will be Charles Leclerc uh, Ericsson is a fairly Reasonable driver, but uh, I do admire Charles Leclerc, so we're gonna choose Charles Leclerc. And the next thing is the settings for the season. And uh, as I mentioned before, I'm no alien. Uh, I do own a race wheel, and I do think I'm able to get decent pace. But I'm no alien, and I'm not familiar with F1 games, so uh, I decided to go for uh, short practice. Three practice sessions. I'll be able to skip them if necessary. Short qualify, 25% distance, and uh, the AI I uh, tend to run at 90. I think that's reasonable for me at this moment. I might uh, increase it a bit, but for now 90 is fine. We decided to uh, uh, to add the safety car. Um, Corner cutter, uh, corner cutting like regular uh, race starts. We're gonna do manual. I have no experience with that as well, but. Let's try manual, let's see what it goes. And uh, obviously we're gonna run with no assist, so no traction control at all, uh, no brake assist, nothing. And uh, this is new to me because in F1 2017, I tried it like once and uh, the car was for me undrivable without traction control. So I'm really curious to find out if it's an improvement with 2018. Uh, gonna be a challenge, I must, uh, must admit. I'm uh, familiar with GT3 cars. And with the F1 game, it's going to be a totally different experience. So, I'm eager to find out uh, uh, how this uh, how this will go. Uh, first race of the season, obviously, will be uh, Australia. Uh, not a big fan of the track, uh, semi street circuit, and um, well, I'll just be happy just to to, to get it out of the walls uh, in the very first race. Well, this is my desk uh, for the Sauber F1 team. Um, yeah, we're gonna be able to make some improvements on the car over here. I'm gonna do some development and stuff. Uh, but yeah, basically, I'm eager to find out uh, how this car will drive and to get some some lap times in. I'm not gonna focus on settings and stuff because I first want to focus on the physics of the game. It's more important for me just to understand the physics, understand the braking and the throttle and stuff. So this will be the main thing for me to find out. This is the desk over here. I can choose my practice sessions. We can see Charlie Clark uh, walking over here, having a seat. Uh, next up will be some practice time. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is my choice for the season, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Bye.